As has been the tradition every single season with 2K this year, I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to go ahead and grind yourself up the ladder to the gorgeous, the beautiful man that is. Give me a second, taking a bit to scroll. <laughs> Invincible Julius Irving. And all of the, the uh, ways that you should be going about getting your XP to make sure you can get this Julius Irving the fastest way possible because there is a bunch. And I mean a bunch of XP that will allow you to get this Julius Irving within at least a day or two. Most people could have him this weekend. So if you want to be one of those, make sure you hit that like button and watch this video all the way through. But before we get into that, we have a sponsor for today's video. And now that we got that all out of the way, we can start off with the XP method. So if you can check out the Out of This World set, as you would expect, most of the time, these are going to be the ones that you want to go ahead and get done because obviously they're big ticket ones. Now, if you're lucky enough to get some of these original owners, those are definitely some of the ones that you should be going for first. I mean, winning came a triple threat offline by eight points using three original owner out of this world cards for a thousand MT. That's a pretty good deal. Now, most of us probably will not have three original owner space jam cards. So these are the ones you can kind of ignore and uh, yeah, say uh, screw you too. But you know, they can be there um, and they can be some fun. But guys like this, getting 20 dunks with Larry Johnson over multiple triple threat games, that is very, very easy for a lot of people to do. Make sure you do those. The Sean Bradley, that one was a glitch. It was so it was easy to get those three rebounds in like two minutes. Um, honestly, it wasn't difficult. 15 three-pointers with Lillard and triple threat online. A little bit difficult. People are guarding you, but not too bad. 20 three-pointers with Space Jam Clay, not too bad. 100 points with Anthony Davis and Domination. This is a perfect one to get done and mix, which is the number one thing you should be doing with all these XP challenges, with this one right here. The big ticket one that you should be, I guess, focusing on or mixing together. We have win one domination game, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Count it with me, like we're on Sesame Street, all the way up to 30 domination games. And each one of these is 350 XP, which I guess for most people probably doesn't sound like a lot of XP, but if you take 350 XP and multiply it by 30, you get 10,500 XP, which if you were to just play those games right there, just the domination games, that is enough to put you all the way up. Look at this. 4,000, 6,000, 7,000, 9,000. We have 10,500. You would be 60 XP away from level 21 if you just played domination games with nothing else mixed in. That is an absolute beast. Also, Darius Arch, kind of cool. Um, so yeah, domination is definitely the way to go, I think, to get a good boost into a lot of these. And you can also mix them with some of these NBA season highlights, because this is the big bucket getters um, when it comes to MT, as well as these, man, 25. But we'll get into that. So what we're going to be doing for our general game plan is picking out a few of these NBA season highlight ones that we can get done at one time. So for example, I probably can get a double-double with a single Jared Allen card, the same game that I get um, 38 or 42 points with Shea Gilgis Alexander or even Jamal Murray. Mix these sort of challenges together. Now, it's going to be a little bit difficult to do those in a domination game, but if you have the skill, I think a lot of you guys can do it. Um, so maybe you come in here and if you have a Jared Allen card, I don't even know if I, uh, you know, I might have a Ruby Jared Allen um, somewhere that we got for free. Maybe, not exactly sure, but if you have them, I would recommend throwing them in to the lineup. Apparently, I don't have a, oh no, it's an Amethyst. It's an Amethyst Jared Allen that we got for free, wasn't it? There he is, this beautiful man. If you played season five, I will probably help you finish the challenge a lot easier without losing the game. Um, and then if you have a Jamal Murray, you're going to throw him in there, a Delino Gallinari, anything like that, uh, pick those guys up and throw them in. Now, I think the best version of Jamal Murray that I have is this uh, season three Sapphire one. So I probably won't be doing this one in domination, but if you have that dark matter, if you have an Opal of them, any version of Jamal Murray that is going to be better than this Sapphire, um, you can do them together. And again, this is kind of all up to you. Pick challenges that you can mix together and go ahead and play this domination game. Because just for a basic example, if we get this 400 XP right here from doing the Murray 50 points in a single game, then we mix it with the double double for Jared Allen, another 400, and then this win domination. Just for simply playing a game and making sure we only score are scoring with select people, that is going to give us, what is it, 800 combined right there, and then 350, 1,150 XP from one single game of domination, which honestly, it's, it's not too bad, uh, which is actually pretty awesome. 
if you are doing that. And there are a lot of cards here. Uh, if you're somebody who doesn't really care about, I guess, XP this year, maybe you know, or this season, Julius Irving really just isn't your thing. What you can do as well is scroll down here and pick out all the cards that people are probably going to be using and make sure that you sell all the ones that you have here if you don't want to go for XP challenges uh, because that's probably going to get you some big uh, money out there. So for example, you know, maybe I'll check out this Jamal Murray right here. Um, we'll look at him, see what he's going for. Probably not too much. Nope, I lied. 100,000 right there. All right, so he's going for about 1,500, which is pretty good for a Sapphire, to be honest, um, to just go out there and you know, sell and have some fun. Other big ticket ones that actually are good higher end versions of the card probably will be going for a little bit more. So I think Murray got like a season rewind card um, somewhere throughout here that goes, that's going to go for a bit of MT now. Yep, not a single one on the auction house. Or if there are, they are not going to be going for cheap. All of these cards are going to have very, very inflated prices for you to have some fun with. Um, Delino Gallinari was another one out there that you can uh, have some fun with, try to snipe and have some, I guess, interesting times with. He's somewhere throughout here. Uh, Galaxy Opal. He's hiding from me. There he is. Bruno Calinari um, might be a little uh, bit of a cheaper one that you can have some fun with. But overall, um, some pretty decent uh, opportunities to make some XP. Other ones that are going to be pretty big to have here are the token rewards. Now, I don't really recommend to too many people going out and picking up some of these token rewards like Goodrich, Hakeem Olajuwon, or Hakeem Olajuwon again. But the number one way that you're going to get up to level 50 or level 40 immediately is going to be picking up this Hakeem Olajuwon. You have to get 100 points with him over multiple multiplayer games, and then you have to get 30 blocks in triple threat or triple threat offline games, which is a perfect one to have, by the way. Um, with Hakeem Olajuwon, 100 points in multiplayer probably wouldn't be too bad, but he is over here in the reward section, and I do not think that he is a, a token opal. He is not. Um, Gal Goodrich is the token opal that you can pick up for this season. Six foot one is probably going to be a pretty bad point guard to pick up because he has oh, well, 95 drive and dunk. All right, that's not bad. But um, just for, I think, 5,000 XP, if you have 750 tokens, you can definitely go ahead and do it. I'll probably pick him back up once I'm back from my weekend trip. But the main thing that you're going to want is Hakeem. And you can see that there's no Hakeem around. Now, it is the Invincible. But what you're going to need to do in order to unlock Hakeem Olajuwon is pick up five Galaxy Opals from this reward market right here. This reward market means that just in that one alone, you have to have to spend 750 tokens times five, which is 3,750 tokens just to get Hakeem. And then Hakeem also goes for 1,000 himself. So that's 4,750. It's probably not worth doing. So for most people, I think the only one that you can look at is maybe getting is this gorgeous Goodrich. But yeah, the rest of them ignore Hakeem. So for most people, you probably won't be able to do it. Just like last season, you're gonna have to wait a little bit, which is fine. Take it easy, um, take it fun. But another one to focus on are these down here, all the way at the bottom of the season groups with um, the t win 10 unlimited games for 4,000 XP. That's a lot of XP to get for one set. Down here, you have play 20 limited games for 20. Okay, 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 we're getting kicked out again. Play 20 limited games for 3,000 XP. This one's gonna be triple threat online, 20 of them for 3,000 XP. And this one right here, is it going to be 25 to put that offline for 3,000 XP, which is going to be a really, really good amount. So what you can actually do with a lot of these is, uh, for example, Anthony Edwards, 17 dunks over multiple uh, games. Boom, there we go, triple threat offline games. Head over to triple threat offline, work your way up with uh, whatever version of Anthony Edwards that you have. I probably have his uh, Emerald somewhere in here. Um, not even up at all who has a bit of a dunk and you can come out here with Anthony Edwards and triple threat offline games and just keep getting dunks and stacking them up together to eventually get that XP because those are the big ticket ones. Um, so mixing a lot of things like that probably is going to be the best option for you um, and then just going through and picking up some of these um, for it. Now if you have the patience to do a lot of things for somebody like this Westbrook 750 XP is a pretty good amount um, over triple threat offline games. If you can be patient enough to go up and get this invincible it's probably going to be the easiest time. But um, if you aren't, I guess, the most patient and you still have um, other versions of Westbrook cards like the um, old Evo that we got for Westbrook, I think I moved mine all the way up to Diamond. This can be another one that you can use that is going to be absolutely amazing um, and really help you out with a lot of these. So it's kind of just like picking your poison and choosing them. And don't forget, as you move up, to do all of these Season 9 level rewards for it. Because if you look here, we have 100 points with the Isaiah Thomas that you get right off the rip. Um, for just, you know, starting the game with Isaiah Thomas. If you get those, what, what is it, 100 points? <laughs> yeah, 100 points and triple that online or offline games, which will stack with that other one. You'll get 3,000 XP. Then picking up Kennard, get 15 and 15 in a single game, 2,000 XP with McConnell, get 10 steals, link in the description for my best steals method, and you'll get 2,500 XP 
Versaric just getting 40 rebounds over at any random game. Just throw him in and he'll get rebounds. You get 3,000 XP for getting 40 dunks with Clark. 3,500 for hitting 33 pointers with Nick Anderson over multiple multiplayer games. That's going to be a little bit of a difficult one, but do that and triple that online, and I think eventually you'll be able to uh, get it, but it will take a little bit of time. Um, you get 4,000 XP, and then for the big man out there scoring 150 points with Oladipo, you get 5,000 XP, and that's just multiple games, man. Just scoring 150, or 150 points, that's really not going to be too bad. So we got 5,000 here, we got 4,000 here, we got 3,500 here, and we have 3,000 right here. 2500 2000 and then the wonderful 3000 right there for these guys so if you just do this alone that is 23000 xp which obviously you're going to need to have um gone up a bit to get these but 23000 xp will bring you all the way to level 26 you mix that with the 10,000 um from playing it and we are all the way up to level 29 just by doing those simple things right there which is going to be a pretty good deal so in summary make sure you are mixing as many of these challenges as you are comfortable doing with the win domination games it's going to be your easiest way to get it and then on top of that if you do have some other things um, that you can do to help out like stacking them all in limited it can really help you if you have the ability to get hakeem olajuwon for a thousand tokens definitely do it because that is thirty thousand mt that you can just jump start and fly through for really not terrible challenges the blocks is a little difficult but overall it's not too bad so if you can get hakeem definitely do it and even if you can pick up goodrich it probably wouldn't be too bad of an idea uh, make sure you're going out and doing all these season nine level rewards because again you don't want to leave 23,000 xp on the table and if you're somebody who cannot get hakeem olajuwon including myself take it easy take your time there will be a bunch of xp throughout the season i think last year or last season we got over uh like 400,000 total xp and it looks like these will not be expiring. These are for 20 days, so you really don't have to rush or do anything like that. So um, hopefully this video did help you out. Hopefully you can work your way all the way up to this gorgeous Julius Irving and get him nice and easy for yourself. Um, I hope everybody can go out and have some fun. Like the video if you did enjoy. Comment down below what you think of this. Again, if you need help with steals or blocks, those will both be linked in the description down below. Hit that subscribe button. If you are new to the channel, we are on that road to 15,000 subscribers. And hopefully you can get up nice and get to that uh, invincible Julius Irving. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.